If you're going to work on your bike yourself, there will probably be a time when you'll need to remove the brake calipers. Whether it's to change the brake pads, renew the brake hoses, or overhaul the entire caliper, this is the Dave Cave, and this is how to remove your rear brake caliper. Safety first, as your brakes are critical to your safety, only attempt to work on them if you are competent to do so. Always follow the manufacturer's specifications when working on any part of your bike. Use a qualified mechanic for any job that is beyond your capability. In this video I'm working on a 1999 Suzuki GSX 600F Katana. Brake caliper orientations may vary but they are generally similar in the removal. Remember to check your bike manual if your caliper is different or has additional braking components. In this case there are three bolts that need to be undone to remove the caliper. Two 12mm caliper mounting bolts that hold the caliper to the frame and the 14mm torque arm nut and bolt which connects the caliper to the torque arm. Using a 14mm spanner and socket remove the torque arm bolt. Due to its location this linkage is prone to corrosion. Remove the caliper mounting bolts using a 12mm socket. Once loose, I prefer to undo the bolts by hand. Like many bolts I remove in corrosion prone areas, these have had a smear of copper grease on the threads to make them easier to remove in the future and to prevent corrosion causing them to seize. When the securing bolts are removed, the caliper can come off. You may need to rock the caliper towards and away from the brake disc in order to push the brake pistons in just enough to slip the caliper off the disc. And that's it, the caliper is removed. If you found this video useful then make sure to subscribe so you never miss a Dave K video. I've been David, you've been awesome, and I'll catch you next time.